Hello everyone, Luke Taylor here, and I just wanted to take a moment here on my channel to make a list of the top 10 coolest Dean guitars of all time. Now this is a subjective list, of course, this is my list and it's my channel, so if you have your own list of the top 10 coolest Dean guitars or the top 10 coolest guitars, please make your own video or uh, let me know below what you think. And um, I just want to say that, you know, Dean didn't invent guitars but they took them to the next level. I think if you look at Fender and Gibson, of course, you know, the two real big powerhouses back in the day, you had Fender that had their whole California thing, and they had, you know, automobile colors and pick guards and single coils and maple. And then you had Gibson, and they had kind of like, uh, you know, the kind of whiskey, honey colors. They had, you know, tr the wood, wood grain tops and dark woods. And they just had a whole different school of thought. It was almost like um, Ford and Chevrolet. And then Dean shows up in the 70s, and it's like Lamborghini. And I just, I feel that attitude that every Dean that you can look at, they just, even for the ones that are the more classic shapes, the more extreme shapes, they just all have this inherent attitude that makes me want to pick up a guitar and play. And remember that it's fun. It's really, really, really fun. Guitar is amazing to play, and I think just Dean captures that. So I wanted to make a list. Of course, I have a Dean tab here on, the, on my channel. Because I've done some, you know, product demos and stuff. And of course, right now, Dean is making my own custom GS guitar. So we'll have a, you know, unboxing and all that. You'll see it all over the channel. So anyway, very first, number one, Dean guitar. I'm going to go, actually, this is top ten, so I'm going to go ten to one. Okay, here we go. Number ten, coolest Dean guitar of all time. So number ten is actually one that you can buy right now. It is one that is one of their import models. It is the ML79 Blue Burst Floyd Rose. I just think if you look at that guitar, if you go into a guitar store and you look at all the guitars, that one's going to like pop out at you. It's just so awesome. And it's, you know, it's one of their import models. So it's one that you can still go buy. Some of these that I'm going to show you are extremely rare. And some of them are custom shop, maybe one-off models. But this one, you can just go get right now. You can literally order it right now. Um, it does have the DMT design pickups. And I, I have not heard those, but I, I believe they're really great or else they wouldn't put them in there. But you can upgrade to the USA DMT pickups of any kind if you want. It's a, it's a mahogany body. It has a uh, Palferro fretboard. It's a, it's a V-neck, V-shaped neck, which is common for a lot of Deans. 12-inch fretboard radius, of course. You know, has all the usual good kind of stuff, but Floyd Rose. But just, it's the color of that blue burst. I think it's really original and it fits that ML shape really well. Um, if you really, if maybe if you wanted one of the more exclusive MLs but you couldn't afford it, this would be a perfect one to get. And I think you'd be super happy with it. I just think it's super cool. So this is number 10. Okay, coming in at number 9 is, I believe, a one-off guitar. Because I do follow Dean on Twitter and Instagram and I did see this picture and I go, wow, that is one of the coolest guitars I've ever seen. Now it is a USA Thoroughbred Custom Walnut. So if you look at the top, of course it's a classic shape in the thoroughbred, just a wonderful, wonderful guitar, but that top is burled walnut. So um, I'll try to, try to get you the best pictures I can. Of course, I don't have many pictures of this because it's a very special one-off guitar. But um, just the fact that they could take a single piece of the burled top and stick it on there and do that dyed finish to accentuate it. I mean, this is seriously a one-of-a-kind guitar that whoever have this made for them is going to be very happy with it. And it has the matching appointment on the headstock, so the headstock matches the body perfectly. Um, I am not sure on the pickups. They are probably a nostalgia set, but I am not sure. Uh, they're chrome covered. They could be anything. But again, just top of the line USA quality. And uh, I don't know what, um, what style of music this player is into, but literally you can play everything on, on this kind of guitar. And... Uh, I'm sure whoever got this is extremely happy. This is number nine of the coolest Dean guitars of all time. Okay, now number eight of the coolest Dean guitars of all time is the Dean Cadillac 1983 pickup model. Now, just to look at this guitar, it really conjures up a certain time. But again, with that attitude that I'm talking about and the whole attitude that the Cadillac shape itself represents with the, the pointy V headstock, but then the offset asymmetrical body. It's just super cool. Like, any finish you get this guitar in is super cool. But this one especially, 
it's that whole tuxedo thing. It's, you know, dressed to kill, super sharp. The three pickups, it's just kind of like, you know, um, some there are some famous players who played three pickup, you know, uh, those style guitars. I won't name those guitars or those players, but it really conjures that, that era, but also it gives it like a fresh spin. So I think it's a timeless uh, kind of addition to that heritage and that nostalgia in a way. Um, I do know that they did a custom run, uh, a USA custom run, but they also did an import custom run, I believe. But you can still find these, I believe you can find the import models, maybe six or seven hundred dollars. But it, it will be a rare find to find one of these. Um, but yeah, I'm sure you could get it on the used market. This is just something that, <laughs> I mean, if you're a guitar player and you, you just want something different and super cool, you can even just put it in the stand and stare at it. You don't even have to play guitar. You can just, you know, mount it on the wall and look at it. And it's just, it gives you a smile. So I think this is, what are we at? Number eight of the coolest Dean guitars of all time. Okay, now number seven is another really rare bird. And I have seen this finish in a couple of different guitars, but uh, a couple of different Dean guitars. But this one, I was just really, my jaw was on the floor to see this. And this is a USA Custom V, but it's a burl top and it's like a blue burl. I don't know what they call it, so I really don't know what to call it. Somebody, if you know, you can correct me. I'm just going to call it the Blue Burst Burl V. Blue Burst Burl V. That's a great tongue twister. But uh, I only have one picture of it, and it's just absolutely stunning. It even has uh, abalone fret markers to kind of match that. Just with the binding that's kind of this warm, creamy color is obviously mahogany uh, body and neck but the top is that burl. And uh, just the idea to, to do a stain, uh, you know, a, a burst on the burl top. It, it, I had a one previously that had just, you know, it was kind of a brown stain, but it was really accentuating it. But this is really bold. And it's just like eye-catching. It looks like it's alive, like there's light inside of the wood. And it just, it literally makes you want to play something. It's so cool. It's so original and unique. And uh, I just think... Really, any color, any finish on a V is cool. I've never, ever seen anything like this. I've seen a lot of Vs, and I've never, ever seen anything like this. So this is easily number seven, coolest Deans of all time, the Blue Burst Burl V. Okay, so number six is a custom guitar, and this was recently made. This was, uh, this is a photo taken from the bench, the builder's bench there at the USA Dean Custom Shop. And this is a Time Capsule Z in Tiger's Eye. Uh, I have a couple pictures of this, and literally, it's just so stunning. Uh, there are so many ways to do like a quote Tiger's Eye burst, or a you know that kind of finish where you're you're doing that kind of golden brown and and that lustrous kind of kind of Tiger's Eye look. If you know the gemstone color, you know what I'm talking about. This is really the first one where I saw, and it it literally looks like there is a Tiger's Eye on the guitar like the whole the whole kind of gemstone without being too much it's just literally the perfect amount of the dye and the finish and to bring out that top and of course to know what top to use for a Z because it's a big shape and so there's a lot of wood going on here and they don't just use like a veneer they use a real big nice piece of wood and uh, I don't know what pickups are in here but they are DMT so they're, they're probably the time capsule. I hope they're the time capsule. I mean, that would make sense because the time capsule, kick ass, totally awesome pickups. I love those pickups. And um, yeah, I cannot say anything negative about this. I cannot say anything other than uh, just uh, extreme hyperbole because it's literally one of the most beautiful guitars I've ever seen. It's also one of the coolest. Um, whoever has this, whoever had this custom made, first of all, great idea. Thank you for sharing it with the world here. But again, um, just best of the best here with Dean. Okay, in keeping with the theme of custom Zs, this one showed up pretty recently too. And I was just, I stared at it for a few moments before I even thought what to say on a comment. And I do believe as I was researching for this list, I do believe it is for sale somewhere. So that it was actually shipped out to a store to be sold. But it is a another USA custom Z, so a special one-off made guitar and it is white. It is this trans white and it's maple and gold and it's just like stunning. It has a reverse headstock. Um, I just, I don't even know what to say about this. The thing is, it's it kind of, it gives me like this ZZ Top vibe, but then it doesn't because it just looks like um, something from Metalocalypse, but then it doesn't. It's just like 
what does an angel play this? But then I don't know. I don't even know what kind of, is it like a Uli John Roth kind of inspired thing? There's just so many ways you can go with this. It just looks literally like a piece of art. It almost looks like, you know, gold and marble. Um, I, I just, I don't even know how they kind of formulated this idea. And um, it's just literally like the perfect combination of this, you know, uh, elegance and excess and then simplicity too, because it has like one volume knob. And it has the idea of doing the um, that kind of the other headstock. That I don't know what the exactly the name of that headstock is, but they have it on like the Dave, Mus Dave Mustaine models. But then it's reversed. It also has a, I believe it has a brass nut and a stainless steel fret, so you know it's made for performance. It's just not made for the look as well. And it has uh, just one pickup. Uh, so seriously, it's super super cool. I just saw that and I stared at it and I was like, wow, whoever's got that is never ever going to put it down. So this is number five, coolest of all time. Okay, now we're in the top four, and I kind of think of these as legendary or historic guitars. So the other ones were super cool. These ones are even cooler because they have way more added to them. They already have made history in a way. I hope that's a little teaser. So number four, if you know Cowboys from Hell, you know the song Primal Concrete Sledge, and there is a concrete sledge guitar. It is so cool. I mean, if you grew up, like, I'm born in 1988, so if you grew up in the 80s or 90s, you kind of have um, just this nostalgia when it comes to certain styles of art, certain styles of graphic images. And the pink to yellow with the gray kind of graphic finish they did, it's just so cool. I mean, it's like this, this thing is bursting through concrete or the concrete is bursting through the thing. I don't know. But just in Dime's hands, Dimebag Daryl in his hands, it just looked so right and so different. And if you know the song, like, I couldn't, I, I mean, I would love to, you know, go meet this guitar at a guitar store and then play that riff and play that song or, or something like that. It just makes sense with Pantera and the kind of fun attitude that they had at that era, for sure. Um, but again, with that re weird reverse headstock, uh, not the big split V, not the big, you know, 3x3 headstock, it just it looks really different it has the reverse kind of shark fin thing it's so unique it's so different it's super cool and um this one here that i got the picture of because this is one that they made it's a limited run it has like a certificate of authenticity um this has a dmt pickup in the neck and it has what it looks like maybe is a dime bucker in the bridge i guess uh seymour duncan uh dime bucker but uh yeah i just i love everything about this it's so fun and uh, I, I would love to play one of these. It's got all this historical value too. So this is number four, coolest Dean of all time. Okay, now number three. This was really hard because there's so many cool ones, but this one is just, I think this is like the pinnacle of all flame guitars. Now there are companies that make flames. Dean makes a lot of different ones with either graphic flames or like real airbrush flames. Um, I've seen some other companies do some different kind of ghost flame things and I because I love motorcycles and that whole kind of thing I really love kind of any flame thing but this is the king of all flame guitars and when it's in the hands of Michael Schenker it's even more the king of all flame guitars and this one is the Michael Schenker Flames Limited Run uh, I don't know what to call it it's the Flames Limited Run 100 pieces is what they have on the website but it's the dual you know, yin and yang flame thing. It's just, oh man, it's so cool. Again, this is one that you could just have on the wall and just stare at and, be, and it would make you smile because it's that cool. Um, <laughs> this is one you could put wheels on it and handlebars and drive it down the street. Um, it's got the, the lights out, Michael Schenker lights out pickups. It has a really unique uh, volume control pattern for a V. It's not in a line. But the whole thing all the way through they really committed to the graphic black and white thing and it's just it's like I don't even know what else to say about it it's literally one of the coolest guitars I've ever seen and it really looks like you just want to play it all night long and do like you know eight hours of soloing and just crazy pentatonic runs and big power chords it it just literally makes you want to play some guitars are really beautiful and they're like you know, and other ones are just really fun. I think this is a perfect combination of both and just the rock and roll attitude. It just kind of represents everything that Dean's about. So this is number three, coolest Dean of all time. Okay, so number two is very personal for me. Number one is, of course, but number two is kind of even more special. But I literally think it's one of the coolest guitars ever made. They're very, very hard to track down. 
Um, I've kept an eye on a couple of them, but I just haven't been able to get one. But number two, coolest Dean guitar of all time is the Matt Hafey Rising Sun ML. And if you know me, you know Shogun is my favorite album of all time. And on Shogun, uh, Matt and Corey were uh, endorsing Dean at the time, and they made these guitars for Shogun. And I know that they recorded Shogun on Dean guitars. That's another reason why I love uh, Dean so much is because it's just such a special album to me. I can't even really quantify that. You can go back and watch my review if you want. But the thing is they made these uh, six string Rising Sun MLs available. It has, you know, that Rising Sun Japanese graphic. It has the Trivium logo, uh, the old Trivium logo in the uh, in the 12th fret area. And, you know, no other fret markers. It's just super clean and classy and graphic. It has the big Trivium T with the Dean wings. And there was a, was a MKH 86 pickup in the bridge, which was Matt's uh, pickup that he worked with Dean on. Ebony fretboard, I believe it's 22 frets. But uh, there's a lot of seven string on a Shogun, uh, like the title track, but there's a lot of seven string on Shogun. So they did custom make a seven string version for him. And I have seen him play that. There's a couple pictures. But um, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it's so cool. Again, with Dean making the graphic kind of Lamborghini guitar, this thing is just. It makes so many other guitars look so mundane, and it might be too much for some people, but it's just, it's perfect. It's just absolutely perfect, and it really conjures up that sound. I can hear all those leads and riffs in my head. It just gets me so inspired, makes me so happy, and makes me really, you know, really know that gear and music connected at a certain time, and I just really loved all that, and I still do. It's still my favorite album. It always will be my favorite album. So that's definitely, easily, the number two coolest Dean guitar of all time. Now I do have all of these guitars timestamped. If you've been playing at home, maybe writing your own list or making your own list or trying to guess what mine was, you can go back and check at this point if you want. Because I think the number one coolest Dean guitar is super obvious. It is literally super obvious. It's one of the most iconic guitars of all time ever of any brand, no questions asked. Um, I don't care what style of music you're into, this guitar is just so iconic and it's so evocative of um, a style, a period, an attitude, but it has translated um, into so many different things and you'll know it when I say it, it is the Dean from Hell. Number one coolest Dean guitar of all time is the Dean from Hell. Now I, I know that there are probably other people who know all of the stories that surround this guitar and how it really happened, but Really, the short story is is that uh, Dimebag Daryl won this guitar in a competition in, in Texas there, and it's kind of the rest is history. But the um, just the, the the lightning and the shape, the shape of the ML with the lightning, but also this guitar because Dean has made them available uh, through custom runs, and they're still making them now. You could still buy one right now, um, but they have like the. Uh, dimes appointments like putting the tape on the neck pickup and it's like a super distortion they still get the bill lawrence 500 xl for the bridge so it's like literally you're being able to get dimes real guitar and if you want dimes real tone i mean you got to have the fingers but you got to have that that guitar you gotta have the dean from hell man and um it's got the floyd it's got the original floyd the speed knobs with the little grippies on them the graphic is just so cool it's even so iconic that you have like you know everything from keychains do you have kind of a maybe a ripoff or a tribute? I'm not sure. In in something like um, Fortnite, I mean seriously, this guitar is so iconic. It just it they're still making it for a reason. It is literally one of the coolest guitars ever made. Definitely the very coolest Dean guitar. Uh, I think if you're like a purist guitar collector, you have to have a real USA Dean from Hell in your collection sometime. Okay, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I really enjoyed being able to do this list. Of course, I tried to find the best picks I could and show them up here. Uh, thank you for taking the time to uh, check this out. You can check out all the videos on my Dean tab. And of course, over time, I'll have more and more. I'll have my own guitar and all that kind of stuff. And I'll also have like a project that I have with a cool ML. So you can check that out. Uh, I do a lot of the pickup demos. So yeah, just uh, make sure to check all that stuff out if that interests you. Uh, let me know what you think your favorite or what the coolest Dean guitars are. What the coolest guitars are. Again, I just they're really the Lamborghini of the, of the whole guitar building thing. And uh, I think they're also amazing people. I really believe in Evan, what he's doing with the company. Um, I believe in all the guys and what they're doing. They're really, really solid, awesome class guys. Um, just 
great, great American company. I'm very happy to support them. And um, yeah, so that's it for me. Uh, please check out all my other videos on this channel. I have a lot, I have over 300 and they're all pretty much music related because that's what I'm all about. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. See you later.